welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another training video. Training in Houston. Yes, I'm at a resort. But what do you do when the when you're when you're at a resort? and the pool is shut down because it's not functioning there's no hot tub and the valet trash service is it, there's no no such thing they don't have the staff or something anyway what i decided to do rather than sitting in trudy thunder all day watching youtube videos i'd go out and make some youtube videos i found some training things here in houston that were of interest to me and uh, I spent the day out running around doing training stuff. So in this video, we're going to visit the only train store in the greater Houston area. We're going to go pay a visit to Papa Ben's train place and check out the in-crowd, in-gauge layout there. We're going we're gonna to get a crash course in Houston train stores and in-gauge railway that's a neat little display so let's let's go to papa ben's train place google told me there was actually a train store nearby so we're gonna go in and check out papa ben's train place and right off the bat we've got three different sizes actually four we have a g o H O and M. How long has Papa Ben's train place been in business? Uh, going on 24 years now. 24 years. And they have got trains of all that is that is cool right there the durango silver to me. i like that cars a plenty even have some older collector stuff. Here's a gen. Check this out. That's cool. That's very cool. There's G Gage. That's what I'm interested in. Oh, that's so. That's cool. The men they have got all everything you need as far as trains go. HO scale on that side and G on this side. Those are cool whole town in HO. More collector stuff. All the train parts you could ever want. Base of operations. Oh, cool. Yeah, so this is just a little bit. By all means, take a look. Awesome. There we go. That's what we're talking about. That is 
display out. The store has been here going on 14 years now. The shop was at one other location before, the original location in the valley. Um, we have the in Houston in crowd. One of the founding members is Papa Ben, the original owner of this shop. His brother is the one that takes care of it now. Okay. And uh, right here you can see is a photo from 1978. That's one of the original first photos of the crowd. Gordon Bliss, he is a prominent member in the in crowd and the in scale community. He has a huge layout here in Houston. You can look him up on YouTube, Gordon Bliss. Gordon Bliss? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's had many uh, articles put out on him and magazines and YouTube videos done over him. Um, that was him as a kid right there in that striped shirt, and that's him a couple years back now. He's been in it the whole time. This right here is a replica of the old Houston uh, train station. This is what it is now with the Minute Maid Park. That's the old building, but this is okay. what it used to be. A member of ours custom built this, scratch built this about uh, eight years ago or so. And a uh, huge feature in this layout. <clears throat> that is very cool. Mm -hmm. How many hours? Oh. Countless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No selling these days. And, and you don't see the Pizza Hut anymore. They've all become something else. They're coming back, I heard, though. I don't really? know about that building design, but I heard the whole buffet thing's coming back. So, that'd be nice. so we're actually yeah. two levels? Oh, yeah. So down there is our staging area. On the panel right there to the left, that white box, all the lights, you can see that's basically all the track that's down there and what it looks like. So we have everything on automated switches down there with a, it's one giant reverse loop. So I, my channel is in the RV genre. And I, we were at Cleburne State Park and went into town and visited a couple of train layouts there. Cool. And uh, they were, that, that video was very well received and people were asking to see more of this content. Cool. And the more I see, the more I'm like, you know, I need to figure out how to put one of these little in gauge layouts in my motor home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can definitely do a lot with a little bit of space with the end scale. Of course, I was also looking at possibly Z gauge, but. Z gauge is very small. It's uh, becoming popular. However, uh, a lot of the times with the Z gauge stuff, it's a little bit harder to attain because they take so long to produce those. Yeah, but they're uh, they're very cool, very small. <laughs> and then the other side of me, I've just I've got ten acres of post oak savanna forest. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a G gauge in my backyard. There you go. This is just so cool. I appreciate you opening the door for me. Of course, every Saturday here at the shop, this door is open. We club members are here running trains every okay. Saturday. It's become a, quite a staple for people to come in and stop in and just say hi and watch a couple laps go around. But uh, guaranteeing every Saturday and coming to the holidays, I think the second or third week of November, we start have, uh, being open on Sunday as well. And this room is open on Sunday as well throughout the holidays. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I presume that was pre-programmed. Oh, no, you're driving. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see you had that in your hand. Mm -hmm. You're sneaky. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm going to get out of your hair and see how long it takes me to get over to Rosenberg because they have supposedly a really great G-gauge display. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Apple Ben's train place. That was, that was very fascinating. I, 
never been to a train store like that before. I was fascinated by that little end gauge layout. That'd be the, that's the perfect size for doing an RV lifestyle <laughs> railway. Just got to figure out where I would put it. Not a whole lot of room in my coach. If you're in the Houston area and you're into trains, I recommend you go pay a visit to Papa Ben's train place and ask to see the in crowds engage layout. If this is your first visit to the Dude RV channel, I appreciate you stopping by. If you're still with me at this point, thank you so very much. I travel around and shoot videos of public campgrounds and have recently developed an infatuation with finding train stuff. And yeah, boys and trains go well together. If you enjoyed this video, click on the howdy button. I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking the subscribe button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you've already been following along, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. And for my patrons, I truly appreciate your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?